in this video, we are going to go 0 to 60 from what used to be an old garden tractor that was going to get scrapped. I picked it up for $50 and have completely redone it. And in that process, I'm converting it to electric. So in this video, you're going to see a lot of the painting and the design and everything like that. And then further on in future videos, I'll continue to do some of the electronics. But let's, let's get into this. Um, the last thing I really had to do as far as the frame was weld on the back plate. So you can see me doing that, doing that here. And once I, once I had that all welded on, it was time to grind everything down, sand everything down, get knock as much rust off of the frame and the body as I could. And I didn't get it all. Um, there's some parts, especially the under part of the frame that really, it, it wasn't necessary for me to knock it all off because that powder coat is going to be much stronger than the Rust-Oleum paint that I'm going to be putting on here. Yes, I would have loved to actually do a nice powder coating job, but that just wasn't in the budget for this build. So once I had it all grinded and sanded down, I did just wipe it down with some degreaser and then started the priming process. And I did a few coats of primer. I did, I think, one, two, I think I did three coats of primer. And that seemed to really, really get a nice thick coat of primer on there. And after that, I went ahead and lightly sanded down the primer and again did some degreaser before I decided to continue on with the painting process. And what I did was use Rust-Oleum John Deere green paint. And right after the paint, about five to 10 minutes after, I did start putting the clear coat on and it, it all turned out really nice, I, I think. All right, one thing I want to mention is that this hood was in rough shape and there was a major chunk taken out right in the front. And I have, a con I have an entire video on how I fixed this hood and restored it. And you can see in the pictures that it actually turned out pretty good. And if you're interested, if you have something like this that you need to fix and restore, please go ahead and check out the link in the description to my channel and to this playlist and you can find a video step by step how to fix this and completely get it back to looking brand new. One more thing that I did do is I masked off the area around where my feet are going to be and I used some truck bed coating and coated this black right where my feet are going to be. That just gives it some added protection, some extra wear and tear that, you know, normally that area really gets you know, beat up and so the paint would probably chip and peel pretty soon. So I decided to use this instead. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this and it's really simple. I didn't do anything fancy, just masked off the area I wanted black and coated with this and yeah, away we went. Okay, so I still have a lot I need to do, but I have it wired up so I can at least do some testing right now. I've got um, just a couple alligator clips to a couple switches. I have the power switch and then the forward and reverse switch set up and just some lead acid batteries just kind of sitting there 
48 volts. I have the new motor put in, so I should see more torque and uh, a little bit more oomph than the first test I did. Everything's pretty much painted. I still have the wheels that I need to do. I'm getting new tires for the front. Uh, I have those ordered. And I have a new seat coming in, so for right now, I will just be testing sitting on that cushion, so it should be super comfortable. Anyway, uh, I also have a high-low uh, range. The, the gears can, there's the, a gear actually switches from high and low, so I have that set up as well. I'm going to do some wiring uh, in the future to do three-speed, so I can, you know, toggle the switches and go from low, medium, and high, which will just vary, you know, the throttle more than anything. And nothing's really fully bolted on. I have decals coming for the hood, but uh, let's see, let's see if it runs. We're just gonna—it's dark outside, but we're just gonna take it on a short little spin, real quick, just because I'm excited and it's, uh, I think it's working. Get this backed out of here. Well, maybe it's working. Oh, there it goes. That's forward. Oh, that's forward. That's reverse. All right, so that little test drive went really, really well. I mean, it is, it's got a lot more torque like I expected. And that was in the low range uh, or the low gear. I didn't even put it in high gear because nothing's really bolted on. So I haven't really tested how fast it can go yet. And I'm really not expecting it to go that fast. I really kind of want low end torque more than anything. So, I mean, the speed's gonna be just fine. Uh, a couple things that uh, I need to do still. I have uh, the steering. You can see it better over here. These steering shafts here, I'm going to be replacing. They, uh, they're they bent and anyway, so I'm replacing those. New tires, still gotta paint the rims and bolt everything on. I'm going to, I think what I'm gonna do so I'm going to have the this mounted on over here, the uh, the controller, and then really just, it's just a lot of wiring and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep sticking around. It's going to be finished. Got decals coming. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be really cool when it's all done. So anyway, thanks for watching.